Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I recently wore my hair and makeup in this boho glam look on a vlog on my vlog channel and I got a lot of requests to share how I did it. So I thought I would recreate the look and you guys can see exactly how I got it. I've already completed my foundation. If you want to see exactly how I get this look step by step, check out my natural foundation routine. It's the exact same look. So I'm going to begin by taking my Benefit Hoola bronzer and running that through my crease with a large Sigma fluffy brush, just to give your eyes some definition. For my eyes, I'm going to be using this palette from Anastasia. I love the colors in here. I'll link everything below. So I'm starting off with a Sigma blending brush in Morocco. It's a warm, red-toned, medium brown. And I'm applying that to my crease, focusing on the outer corner and then working my way towards the inner corner. I'm just really blending it. I do kind of have large eyelids, so I like to blend it up pretty high. Now that we have our shape, we want to go in and darken it up. So I'm using Fudge. It's a really pretty matte, deep brown with a warm undertone on my Sigma Small Blending Brush. And I'm putting that through my crease, focusing this mainly on the outer corner. And instead of blending it up, I'm blending it down. You can see there because I want my lid to be the darkest part of this look and I'm bringing it up to be lighter towards the outside edges. So make sure you blend down with this dark brown color. I like a cat eye shape, so I also take this on the outer edge and kind of connect the corner there and give myself a little cat eye. Now I'm going in with this Makeup Forever palette and taking this beautiful purple cranberry color and I'm applying that all over my lid also with a little Sigma flat shader brush. I love this color. It's the perfect, beautiful, like purple cranberry. I love the shimmer in it and it applies really easy. So I put that on both of my eyelids. Now I want to kind of finish this look, so I'm taking that dark purple with a shimmer too and I'm blending together the light purple and the dark brown. That way there is no harsh edges, everything blends together nicely. I'm also just touching up the outer corners with that light brown from the beginning, just kind of touching up the look, making sure it looks the way I want it to. Soft Peach is a really pretty highlight color for under the brow bone. To keep this look dark, I'm applying my favorite eyeliner right now. It's from Makeup Forever. It's in a really pretty dark brown color. It almost has a purple tint to it, so I'm tight lining. I'm also going to use this in my waterline. To give yourself that really smoky boho look, you wanna make sure you're applying some color to your lower lash line. So I just went in with a mixture of the purple and the browns until I liked the way it looked and I just kind of smudged it under my lower lash line. I also kind of winged it out at the corners there too. I'm finishing off the eyes with some liner and mascara and also some lashes from Lily Lash. These are a mink pair. I love them. I'm lining my lips with Strip Down by MAC. It's a really pretty mauve brown nude color. I'm keeping my lips nude with this creme brulee shade from Jouer. I love their liquid lipsticks. They sell out pretty quickly, so just keep an eye on their website. But I'm applying that all over, and then I'm topping it with a gloss from Buxom called Hot Toddy. It's a really pretty brown nude. That's the final look for makeup. Now, moving on to hair, I've been testing out some new products that I'm loving, so I can't wait to share this with you guys. I'm starting off with a little dry shampoo from Kerastase. Love this one, it's so lightweight. It doesn't make your hair feel more greasy like some dry shampoos can do, so I spray this all over at my roots. It also gives me a lot of natural volume without having to tease as much, too.
Do you see all that volume? It's crazy. So now we're gonna begin curling, so section off your hair. The trick to this hairstyle is using small, tiny little sections to get a lot of volume. Speaking of volume, I had to throw in some of my favorite triple sec texturizing spray from Dry Bar. Love this stuff, you guys see me use it all the time. I've also been loving the Surf Spray from Bumble and Bumble. It gives your hair lots of grit. I just love it. It makes your hair look so cool and so beachy and messy. So I spray a little bit of this in at every section too. You just wanna make sure you let it completely dry before you curl your hair because it does make it a little bit damp and you don't wanna curl damp hair. Totally damaging. So there you see me waiting it out. My everyday curling wand is the Numi 32 millimeter. My favorite, I love it. I'll leave a coupon code below for you guys. So I'm taking a small, small section and curling my hair down and away from my face. I leave one inch out at the bottom that gives you that beachy look. And then taking my next piece and curling it towards my face. So you wanna curl every piece in the opposite direction and leave an inch out. And again, make sure you're taking really small sections. So here I'm going back away from my face and then towards my face. This is gonna give you tons of volume. After each section is complete, I spray it with hairspray from Kerastase, another product that I've been loving lately because it's like a volume hairspray that doesn't make your hair crunchy so I spray this all over you don't want to like fan through your hair yet just leave it be let it cool down and spray it because we do want a curled look you guys have probably seen me do my hair like this before but I just love to tease it so every section besides the bottom one I do tease and it gives me so much volume and I like it to be a little bit frizzy I don't know why it's just something I like I feel like it makes it look really beachy and messy so I make sure to tease every section before I begin curling using that same Kerastase hairspray. They call it like back comb in a bottle or something. It's really cool, look at that volume. So again, I spray with the texturizer and the surf spray before I curl and after. So away from my face, leaving one inch out, towards my face, leaving one inch out. And I repeat that process all over the rest of my head. All right, so we are just about finished here. This hairstyle does take a little bit longer, but it's so worth it. So spray everything, and then I begin to finger comb it. You can see me kind of pulling out the waves, pulling out the curls, fluffing it up. I use a comb even. You wanna make it look really fluffy and big and volumized. I just love the way it comes out. Look how boho it is. I think it's so cool. So I love this look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me and subscribe if you're new to my channel. See you guys next time.